Hello there, this is something new for me, a quick off-the-cuff video about Game Maker Studio 2 and one of the functions that uh, was relatively recently added that I've been finding very helpful. Uh, what it is, is variable, variable definitions. Easy for me to say. Um, what it is, is obviously in your create event for your objects you define your variables. Um, but what happens is, it, what happens if you need to change the uh, initial va initial variable um, on an individual instance of that object. Previously, what you'd have to do is go in the, go into your room editor, open up that one instance, and uh, edit the creation code. So instead of you know change the status, for instance, to I don't know, shoot, whatever. I'm sure you get the idea. Um, but no, in this case now, what you can do instead is click the variable, variable definitions button. I cannot say it. Oh my god. I can use it, can't say it. And it allows you to set variables as if you're entering them into the creation code. Um, like this, basically. So I'm going to add start delay. This is going to control um, the number of seconds before this object starts spitting its uh, little goopy fireballs out. So you uh, enter the variable name as if it was just one of these. In this case, start delay. Default, I've set to zero on this one. Again, that would be that would be just like entering a variable on these here. And then you have to just tell it what type of uh, you know, what type of information you've entered. So you've got real numbers integers, strings, which is just text, obviously, uh, booleans, expressions, which is, you know, just any code, basically, uh, a resource, like an object or, or a sprite or, or whatever, um, a list, oh right, it's like an array, or colour even, colour's good, actually, because it gives you a, gives you a nice little um, colour picker, we're going to change that back to real, set it to zero. So if we go back to the level now, click on your instance, and instead of going to creation code, go to variables, and you'll see them listed there. And what you can do is you can edit them to whatever you want. So let me just demonstrate. So if I run the game now with the, def with the default settings, it's going to be facing to the right, and it's going to spit one fireball every three seconds. There it goes. Okay, that's great. I'm going to override the facing direction variable. Change it 90 degrees, which is going to be facing directly upwards. Run it again. There you go, it's facing upwards. Still spitting on every three seconds. So what we can do, let's add some more spitters. That'll do. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the direction alone. What I'm gonna do is this can fire once every one second. next one I'm going to set to two seconds. The third one I'll leave at three seconds. Play this again. We should very quickly see that they're all now firing at different rates. Simply because we changed the, uh, the variable that we've defined. I found this very useful for uh, quickly putting together levels instead of messing around typing around all the creation codes out. You can just quickly set the definition and away we go. Uh, like I say, you get all sorts of, do all sorts of different patterns with this. So, another quick demonstration. Uh, actually, leave that one as it is. I'm going to put 
put that back to default, change the start to delay to 0 0.1 seconds. Obviously there's code in the step event for all of this. No, this is not magic of course. Actually, 0 0.2 seconds. Run that again. You should find there's a pattern of... Uh, there's a pattern now, there we go. So yeah, I've been finding this very useful for, well, for making patterns like this. You can quickly, uh, quickly iterate. So I hope that was clear, and I hope you find that useful if you didn't already know about the uh, variable definitions. Um, and I'm hoping to do some more Game Maker Studio videos in the future if I can think of suitable topics. I'm no, I'm no code expert, so you won't be finding anything too in depth for me, I don't think. But uh, yeah. If you like this, please like and subscribe, as they say. And I may well see you later.